The leaves are changing, the temperatures are dropping, the lakes are getting colder, and the snow is beginning to fly. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but the Great Lakes can have a big effect on fall weather. We had hardly any ice on the lakes over last winter, and over the spring they were above normal temperature, but it's not that been that warm uh, in the Great Lakes area this summer, and you know they're they're running about normal or just below normal uh, across the board. If the waters of the Great Lakes are warmer than average, we could see increased precipitation in southern Ontario in the form of an extended severe thunderstorm season. This can then interfere with harvest time. Wet fields means that getting machines on the field is difficult. We can also see unexpected heavy snow squalls if we get cold air sweeping in from the north early in the season. Uh, hopefully, the, the temperatures will stay down so that over the winter, uh, we'll get more ice and uh, kind of less evaporation over the lakes and that, that affects the lake levels. So if there's less chance of an effect on our late summer or early fall thunderstorms, what happens when it starts to get real cold? Once you start getting into the fall, if you've got warm lakes, uh, which we've had in the past several years, not, not so much this year, but those warmer lakes will, will give us a lot of water spouts. And we certainly have seen that in the past with uh, big outbreaks of water spouts because you've got that warm lake air and the cool fall air masses moving over them. Don't have the ice forming, but you have warm lakes. In the winter, you're gonna get tons of lake effect snow. As we head into fall, we're going to see storms and winter is coming. Just how bad they're going to be may not be hugely dependent on the lake temperatures this year, but on how much cold air will sweep over the lakes before they cool down.